Careface CVP. Subscribe, like, comment, and let the whole world know about it. Thank you for riding with Careface CVP. Marie Catherine Laveau, she was born, September 10, 1801, in New Orleans, Louisiana, United States. Did you know this? Marie was a Louisiana Creole practitioner of voodoo, herbalist and midwife who was renowned in New Orleans. She was a Native American with African spiritualism. In the 19th century, when you ask people about Marie Laveau, they describe her as tall and fair skin with curly long hair. She's not black. She's Creole, said Cody Roberts, an African American history professor. Did you know this? Two of Marie Laveau, daughters had her name. Marie Laveau too still reigned over the voodoo ceremonies of the blacks and ran the Maison Blanche, but she never regained high notice in the press. Marie Laveau was born as a free woman. One of Laveau's best documented exploits involved the murder trial of a young Creole gentleman, which seemed almost certain to end in a guilty verdict for the young man. His father approached Marie and promised her anything if she could rescue his son, and Marie agreed, asking for the man's New Orleans house in return. Marie secretly placed several charms throughout the courtroom and, when the young man was declared not guilty, the father gave her his house as promised, and she gained the instant attention of the city's elite. Some believe that her feared magical powers were actually based on her network of informants. Did you know this? Marie was working as a hairdresser in New Orleans before she became the voodoo queen. Many people claim to see Marie Laveau in town after she died. Marie Catherine Laveau had seven daughters and she would dress as them like herself. Marie Laveau was a lifelong Roman Catholic. She was baptized, married, attended Mass, and had her children baptized at St. Louis Cathedral. In addition to being a voodoo priestess, herbalist and midwife. When she was born, it was not recorded. It is believed that Marie Laveau was born in the French Quarter of New Orleans. Marie Laveau married Jacques Paris a free person of color from Haiti. Nobody knows how Marie Laveau spent her days or her nights, but the story is that she was a hairdresser to wealthy white women who felt comfortable confessing their darkest secrets and fears to her. Did you know all that? Well, if you didn't know now you know. Brought to you by Careface CVP. Subscribe, like, comment, and let the whole world know about it. Careface CVP.